Hey guys, this is Abe from Zorro Sports, and I'm actually going to walk you through the Blue Sombrero process to register for New Braunfels Little League. So, first things first, you'll, you'll want to head out to newbraunfelslittleleague.org, and this will be the home page. On the top right, if, regardless if you click login or register, it's going to take you to the Blue Sombrero portion of New Braunfels Little League. So, I went ahead and clicked on login. Now, in my situation, I already have a password and, and uh, username, but if you don't, Obviously, you can register here um, or go to the top right and you can click on register back up here. Um, but again, I, I already have an account here with them, so we're going to go ahead and go through there. Now, just for demonstration purposes, I went ahead and cleared all my information, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start from there. Now the first part is actually the parent information. It's not the uh, not the child. A lot of times we see the child's information registered here. So um, just giving y'all a heads up about that. That is your information um, as the parent. And because I'm running the video here, it is gonna lag a little bit. So don't feel their website's actually this slow. It's actually just my computer. And the other thing is I also am doing this on the desktop, uh, mobile version will be a little bit different. Okay, so I don't have any participants right now. I'm going to go ahead and add a participant. Um, so if you want to see how I got there, there's the little snowman on this side right here. Now this would be actually the participant slash your your child's info here. Um, so my son's Isaac for some of y'all that know that. Now a lot of questions have been coming out um, from what I've been told by New Braunfels Little League and from parents I've been talking to is the birth certificate. You de actually don't have to upload that right now. Uh, we can take that at a different time. Um, and somebody also said that it doesn't take PDF that I mean if you snap it with your phone you should be good with that um, and so I don't know uh, why it doesn't take PDF but just just so y'all know that you can just do your regular t telephone uh, picture there and this is August Right, and that's my info. Okay, and yes, my child lives with me. Continue. And again, I skipped the birth certificate part there. So here's another thing that comes up is your you may see this where he's available for two programs so the challenger little league if in the event your your son um, has special needs you can always contact New Braunfels little league um, or speak with mr john ellis um, he's a great advocate for the challenger little league division um, and has done a lot of tremendous work with the angels um, if your son or daughter falls into that category we offer a great program for the challenger little league um, if he's uh, if they're not uh, a special needs they may fall under what they call like a ma minors or majors if your son is 10 11 12 um, that's going to be the same right there um, most of the time though it's going to default you to your standard little league based on your calendar age so in case if you see these two options um, unless you heat your son or daughter's a special needs uh, player 
uh, they'll go ahead and register with Challenger. If not, um, we're going to go ahead and do whatever the other description would be. So, in, for instance, my son, he's in, he's 10, he's league age 11, though. So just be aware of that, uh, that the league age is different from his actual age, uh, age now. Um, so he qualifies for minors slash majors, Little League Baseball. So I'll go ahead and click, select that. Um, when I click this, it's not going to automatically take me to the next page. I have to come down here and click Continue. Okay, uh, let's see. Now this part, I know we've been getting a lot of questions about two. Um, little League School name. Returning. And this is just in case if he's playing with some of the nearby cities, um, some of the other youth organizations. This is known. Did the parent play Little League of the Child? Yes. Okay. This is all that terms and conditions. Except. Okay, so in this situation, um, if you know he went to a public school, I'd put Kenyan Intermediate. Um, this teammate request, from what I've been told, um, it only will apply to T-ball and coach pitch. Um, so if they're in um, minors or above, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother with that. Um, obviously, coach request isn't guaranteed. Um, there is a school waiver form that they ask you to do here you can actually skip that um, so don't worry about trying to go to the school and trying to get a, some kind of school waiver they actually don't need that I think it's down here uh, participation of the league requires you to run yes okay so this is the part I was talking about the proof of residency you can actually skip this part you don't actually have to do it um, so just be aware of that I'm going to try to skip all the way to the bottom. School enrollment, yeah, I'm just going to skip all that. Just going to put none then. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Okay. Okay, so now we're at the coaches selections and available positions to volunteer. I would highly encourage everybody to do this at least the miscellaneous work day because we always need volunteers from all the little leagues that we help out. There's, they can never get enough volunteers, so please go ahead and do that if you can. And then obviously if you're trying to be a head coach or assistant coach, again, please try to do that. Um, right now, just for the video purposes, I'm going to go ahead and click I do not wish to volunteer at this time. Okay. So now it has my son's info here, um, their you know, registration costs. You'll click continue. I'll fill out the my credit card information here. Um, and it should only give you the availability to do credit card. So it sh uh, there's, there were some other features before that they uh, had on there. We went ahead and got rid of them. So now it's just the credit card. Uh, once that's done, I'll click continue. And then you'll be done. Now, keep in mind, when you do register, especially like before December, you're not going to get a phone call from a coach next week or anything like that. Um, the season won't start till about mid-February. So just be aware of that um, when you're doing that. But other than that, that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions, you can go to newbronfieldlittleleague.org, um, or you can even reach out to us, and we'll be happy to answer some questions that you may have. Thank you so much. Have a great day.